హరిత విప్లవం కోట్లాది మంది భారతీయుల ఆకలి తీర్చేందుకు ఆహార ధాన్యాల ఉత్పత్తిలో స్వయం సమృద్ధి సాధించేందుకు జరిగిన గొప్ప ప్రయత్నం ఈ హరిత విప్లవ సాధనలో మన దేశంలో అనేక నదులపై నిర్మించిన బహుళార్థ సాధక పథకాలు కీలక భూమిక పోషించాయి ఈ పథకాల ద్వారా లక్షలాది బంజరు భూములు సాగులోనికి వచ్చాయి కోట్లాది మంది భారతీయులు ఆకలి తీర్చేందుకు అవి ముఖ్య భూమిక పోషించాయి ఈ పాఠంలో మనం మన దేశంలో నిర్మించిన బక్రానంగల్ తుంగభద్ర హీరాకుడ్ నాగార్జున సాగర్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ నిర్మాణ వివరాల గురించి తెలుసుకుంటాం వివిధ నదులపై నిర్మించిన ఆనకట్టల ద్వారా లక్షలాది ఎకరాల బీడు భూములను సాగులోనికి తీసుకురావడం తక్కువ కాలంలో ఎక్కువ దిగుబడినిచ్చే హైబ్రిడ్ విత్తనాలను వాడడం అధిక దిగుబడి కోసం రసాయనిక ఎరువులు పురుగు మందులను వినియోగించడం ఈ కార్యక్రమాల ద్వారా ఆహార ధాన్యాల ఉత్పత్తి పెంచేందుకు జరిగిన ప్రయత్నమే హరిత విప్లవం హరిత విప్లవ లక్ష్యాల సాధనలో సాగునీటి పథకాల నిర్మాణం ఎంతో ముఖ్యమైనది ఈ పాఠంలో మనం తొలి రెండు పంచవర్ష ప్రణాళికల కాలంలో నిర్మించిన బక్రానంగల్ తుంగభద్ర హీరాకుడ్ నాగార్జున సాగర్ పథకాల గురించి తెలుసుకుందాం However with the fulfillment of partition in 1947 India lost the major part of this excellent irrigation system Though much of East Punjab was arid land it was land that could have been made fertile had there been water Conditions in Pepsu and Rajasthan were even worse There was not a drop of water to be seen or heard for miles around 8 July 1954 Mr Nehru opens the Nangal Hydro Canal and the first phase of the war against want is over Thousands of miles of man-made tributaries sucker the arid wastes of the Punjab, Pepsu and Rajasthan water enough water to awaken countless fields that have long lain dormant For many a farmer it is a long cherished dream come true Here what they have to say about the welcome change in their fortunes. The land will flourish once more, for the Tungabhadra holds the key to its prosperity. The 1st July 1953, a red-letter day in the achievement of the 400 million rupee Tungabhadra project. Today takes place the opening of one of the canals that leads off from the dam. The honor of ushering the waters into the new canal falls to the oldest inhabitant on hand, a humble peasant who, like so many others, stands to gain much from this giant scheme. He and his kind beseech the deity of the river to bless the project so that prosperity comes to a land long shrunk. In the 19th century, famine occurred 10 times in this area. While from 1900 to 1940, eight famines have been recorded. These manifestations of misery are due to a lack of rainfall and a lack of opportunity to tap the river waters. The people suffered in Rayalseema because of the water shortage. Many of the people who have been in the river have been in the river. 
Many migrated when faced with drought and death. Water spread of 146 square miles. Up to October 1953, the project was a combined undertaking of the governments of Hyderabad and Madras. Now, the plan of Mysore Andhra side, the canal is used for power up to the 14th mile. Thereafter, called the low level canal, it is used for irrigation. Two million acres, of which over 800,000 acres will be irrigated has begun for the people of this region. The long barren lands have blossomed for the first time in centuries. And as nature smiled, so did the people. In less than two years, freedom from famine has become reality. In round figures, it means 140,000 tons of food grains and 80,000 tons of commercial crops grown annually. And when the high-level canal in Mysore Andhra is completed, production of food grains and commercial crops will be increased by another 50%. The first phase, Hidakud, the conception was massive. Storage capacity, 675 million acre feet of water. Power machines and men. In unison, they prepared the foundations of Hirakud, which alone could tame the Mahanadi and make her a source of lasting prosperity. Borrow pits. Enough earth to build a 10 foot highway from Cape Comorin to India's capital. These earthen sections are the at various stages of construction. Prime Minister Nehru visits the project to see for himself the progress of work. He has described these structures as the temples of 20th century India. And indeed, Hirakud is as vital an achievement as the sun. It is a giant monument to the faith and labor of tens of thousands. They have sacrificed much to make all this possible, even their lands which will be submerged by the reservoir of the dam, a lake covering 288 square miles. From the site of the dam, will now be able to re-establish themselves on new farms along the life-giving canal. Inspired by the first achievements, the builders of Hirakud often themselves the fervor of activity, for Hirakud means a new life for them and for future generations. January 1957. Hirakud is complete. Nine eventful years crowded with the drama of a monumental achievement. Mahanadi, the great river, is at last controlled by a dam that is 16 miles long, a man-made mountain of earth, stone and concrete, storing the water drained from an area of over 32,000 square miles. The first of a vast irrigation system which will be organized to sustain and develop Orissa's agriculture. They are the veins which will nourish the valley and her people. Along the Mahanadi, they speak of Hirakud with pride. It is a story that generations yet unborn will treasure, for it tells of man triumphant, master of his fate. If these are the fruits of Hirakud, then surely when the Mahanadi has been dammed at Tikarpara and Naraj, when even more canals bring life to millions of neglected acres, the earth of Orissa will yield her bounty as never before. That is the prayer of the people of the valley.
site of the Kutub Minar, they say, and a kilometer and a half across. Some 215 square kilometers, more than the area of Calcutta and Bombay, making it the largest reservoir in India. Enlarges food grain output by some 700,000 tons. The smaller left bank canal is planned to irrigate some 9 lakh acres in the districts of Nalgonda and Kamam. It began with a bang in February 1956. Since past to the present, the present to the future. to the present of succor for the needy. The shape and size of a growing optimism, the Nagarjuna Sagar project. Within a few years from now, the memory of hunger and want will be no more painful than a passing nightmare. Oh! <laughs> 